What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Have to sad to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the to to make the request. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you um, choose to donate. Or try again. Um, love you guys so much. And I have another channel for anybody that's interested. I've got some questions. Hashtag all capital letters. L-E-O-G-A-N-G -E with an exclamation point. There's a couple promo videos um, down, lower down in the selections. Um, and the link is in the description box below underneath the promo videos. Um, and it takes you right to my other channel. Um, I only have one other tarot card reading channel. That's hashtag Leo Gang with an exclamation point. No other tarot card reading channels. Just the High Priestess Intuition and the hashtag Leo Gang with exclamation point. If anybody else says, claims they're me or they solicit you for um, readings, it's not me. And they're saying they're me. It's not me. I don't ever come to you asking me uh, asking you for a reading. People come to me asking me for readings. Okay? So, and I only have two tarot card reading channels. Okay? So I just want to let everybody know. Okay? Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do, I do, I do. And thanks for all the new subscribers, both on the hashtag Leo Gang with exclamation point and on this channel. Um, if you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. Very much appreciate it. Um, I love you. Guys. Not somebody specific, but just you guys. <laughs> okay, so um, this channeling is beautiful. I've been pulling in medical malpractice today. I've been pulling in nursing homes, standing up to nursing home abuse. I've been pulling in a little bit of everything today. And after this, I'm going to go walking. Um, I've been back on the walking train, for anybody who doesn't know. Back on the walking train. But, um, but this one's a good one. So I heard someone that did not publicly support you in the past. Um, one has already stood up for you very publicly and is supporting you now publicly. Another one is about to stand up for you and support you very publicly. Um, whoever this is for and how that applies. That's really beautiful. It really, really, really is. I love it, you guys. So public supporting, they did not publicly support you in the past. I'm sorry. I was just going to check this. Okay. Um. They did not publicly support you in the past, but um, they one has already started publicly supporting you. One is about to. Um, whoever you are and how they uh, how this applies. For some reason, they did not publicly support you in the past, but now they are. Um, maybe we'll see if we get any more information in here. But um, for some reason, they did not publicly support you in the past, but they one is already now and one is about to. So you plug it in, how it resonates, you guys. Um, beautiful energy, um, changing in energetic um, shifts. So that's really beautiful. Uh, whoever this is for, how this applies. Some serious truth has been revealed. These people were lied to in a huge way. Some serious truth has been revealed. These people were lied to in a huge way. Some, 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 some serious truth has been revealed. And whoever these people are that's already publicly supporting you, or is about to, they were lied to in a huge way. However that resonates and applies, you guys, okay? Wheel. So they were lied to. They were lied to about you. But that's why they wasn't publicly supporting you in the past. But now one already has and another one is about to. For some of you guys, I feel it could be um, um, several people about to publicly support you. Possibly. Um you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so we have protection, upright, darkness, reverse, wheel, upright, number 13, 40, or 24. It could be very significant numbers in one's life, 13, 40, or 24. Uh, it could be possible ages of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number in one's life, 13, 40, or 24. Wheel, upright, darkness, reverse, protection, upright. You're very knowledgeable and a very strong-minded individual. People tried to make you out like you were weak, and you most certainly are not. Okay. I heard you're a very strong-minded individual, um, and you're very strong. I think you might be physically strong, mentally strong, or maybe both. How that resonates, but definitely mentally strong. 
heard um it sounds like the public or others or some kind of toxic group or family or toxic people in general were trying to make it out like you were weak-minded um and etc 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 but i heard you're most certainly not so um you're very strong-minded you're very strong mentally you're very strong very strong very strong i heard you're very strong so you're very strong mentally for some i feel you'd be strong physically i didn't hear you were but for some i think it's you got it all the whole package mentally and physically baby um but others were trying to make you out like you were weak-minded like you were mentally incompetent and i didn't hear mentally incompetent but weak-minded is basically mentally incompetent and that's just the truth um it's already backfired on some people and for some more it's about to it's already backfired on some people and for some more it's about to for some it's your family members for some it's ex-co-workers for some it's community members for some, it's family members, so toxic family family members. For some, it's ex-co-workers. And for some, it's community members. They basically called you weak-minded. I think they called you mentally incompetent, is what I feel. I didn't hear they called you mentally incompetent, but I heard they called you weak-minded, which is basically mentally incompetent. Um, or needing another person uh, to care for them, which is, I mean, if you needed another person to care for you, you would have another person, I'm presuming. Um, someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. If you needed care, um, you would have, I would presume, especially if you need, like, medical care or something of that nature, and you fall under a certain income bracket, like, for Medicare or Medicaid, you could have, like, home health come in and assist you. Or some, uh, I'm serious. If you needed, if you needed medical care that bad and you fell under a certain income a level you could uh, apply for medicare or medicaid whoever you are i don't you're not that i don't feel this i heard you're not most certainly not most certainly not her mo confirmation double deuces confirmation most certainly not and i heard it's already backfired on some people some more it's about to backfire so th they're basically we're calling you mentally i mean medical would be home health medical would be home health but mentally incompetent would be needing a caregiver someone to come live in, you know, come in and help you. Um, and there are like people that are um, not all there mentally, and I'm not making fun of those people, not at all, but the developmentally challenged people, they do have caregivers that live in their home. Someone is getting a huge wake up call. And if they fall under an income, certain income bracket, which most of those people do because they usually don't work out in the 3D workspace, they do have living caregivers. Person was getting a huge wake up call. I'm serious. But whoever was saying these things, it is about to seriously backfire on them. It is about to seriously backfire on them. Well, they shouldn't have been saying craziness, and that's the truth. Darkness reversed. Some of these people said you perform black magic, and you don't. And they did. Some do. Some of these people said that you perform dark magic, dark arts, dark magic, black magic, what have you, what have you. But I heard you don't. And some they do now and some they did. So you are of the light. Darkness reversed. You're of the light, baby. Um, I feel for some you could be terror readers or, um, or just spiritual. Maybe for some you're spiritual and people, like if you live in like a Bible Belt type of situation like I do, they don't understand that um the whole spiritual concept and so what doesn't they don't understand scares them so they like to make fun of people and make fun of situations they don't understand i.e my spirituality um and, and that's just the truth but i've come to accept it that's okay but um i'm totally different from r people around here but i'm okay with that um but doesn't mean i haven't been made fun of in my community because of my spirituality people haven't come to me in my face and told me that but don't think i don't know and that's just the truth because i do you know, but I think you, you might be the same, um, boat is what I'm saying. I think you might be spiritual or you might be a reader and you have just gotten made fun of, like plowed by your community. And I don't feel like physical plowing. I feel like metaphorical, like just like bashing your head, not your head, but your name into the mud, not literally, but metaphorically, um, because of your spiritual practices or because of your spiritual beliefs or because of maybe for some you read tarot 
and they don't like that. They think it's the devil. My ex-husband has called tarot reading the devil's work before. True story. Protection. You're highly spiritually protected and other ways protected. It's about to backfire on these people in huge ways. Okay, I heard you're highly spiritually protected and other ways protected, and it's about to backfire on these people in huge ways. So, um, spiritual protection and other ways protection, um, that could be legal protection, that could be physical protection. Maybe you have, um, maybe you're a licensed gun owner, or you um, have protection, like maybe you have um, a pepper spray. Um, I used to have pepper spray on my keychain because um, I'm a single woman um, that lives by herself like totally by herself and no roommates and no kids and no no nothing now that my kids are in Knoxville Tennessee um so I need to get another pepper spray or maybe you have a bat or something you keep by in your coat co closet by the door um so I'm feeling spiritual protection physical protection it might be legal protection but some kind of protection however that resonates and applies okay um whoever you are and how this applies okay but this is really beautiful because somebody's publicly supporting you now and they wasn't in the past. So that's really beautiful. Let's pull one of these and then I'm going to close it. Then I'm going to go walking. I walked about two miles last night. Not as much walking as, you know, I was getting up to like five or six miles a day. I need, uh, maybe, maybe today I will. I've been having all that sinus drainage, so it's been kind of sucky, but I need to get out there and get going. Spirit messages you have reflected. Like the body. White dress. I think you're single. Whoever you are. I don't think you're married because this is my marriage card in here. Um, I don't think you're married. I think you're legally single. We have a white dress reversed. The body. For one, somebody lied and said you had a back injury to gain workers' compensation benefits off of you in the past. It's about to backfire on them in a huge way. You do not have back problems or any medical ailments. Okay, so for one of you guys, somebody lied and said that you had back injury. You had a back injury, back problems. I heard strictly so they could gain workers' compensation off of you in the past. So for work, um, for back problems, um, basically. Um, so the body in this aspect would be back injuries, but I heard it's about to seriously backfire on them because, um, you, I heard you don't have any medical problems. So nothing, you don't have diabetes type one, diabetes mellitus type one or two. You don't have, um, hyperlipidemia, uh, hypertension, back problems, neck problems, um, any kind of ambulatory problems or otherwise no medical conditions. Um, and but somebody lied and whoever this is i don't know um who this is uh it could be the ex-co-worker the ex the toxic family member or the community member because uh, those are the ones that in here we're pulling in but somebody whether it's a toxic family member uh um ex-co-worker or a um, um community member they lied and said you had back problems to gain workers compensation off of you but i heard it's about to backfire in a huge way so in this aspect, body is back injuries, but you, whoever you are, you don't have a back injury or injuries. I don't believe you've ever had any surgeries or went to the doctor for any back problems or been diagnosed with any back injuries. Um, and um, it's about to backfire on them in such a huge way. These people are about to ever regret this. About to backfire on them in such a huge way these people are about to ever regret this so protection you're protected because you don't have any back problems any spinal injuries i don't believe you've ever had any back surgery or surgeries uh, i don't feel you've ever i don't for whoever you are i don't feel you go to a freaking chiropractor um i didn't hear you did or didn't but uh, you may go to a chiropractor but you may not i mean i heard you have no medical conditions uh medically so i don't even feel you go to a freaking chiropractor I mean, and you don't have to have back problems or back injuries to go to a chiropractor. I mean, some people do that just because they like to do it. But 
my point is, you might not even do that because I and definitely no spinal surgery or surgeries, definitely no diagnosis of back injury or injuries. But I heard you're highly protected and it's about to seriously backfire on these people. Whether it was your toxic family that's been drawing workers' compensation for back problems, an ex-coworker, or a community member. But I feel they've stole your personal information to do it because they would have had to. Like your social, your um, name, your social, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to do it. They would have had to. Um, and how they got that information, I'm not sure. But I heard it's about to backfire on them in such a huge way. I feel you're very healthy and I feel you're single. You plug it in, how it resonates. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and I'll stay.